everyone, so today I wanted to do a video kind of fall themed. I am so excited for fall and a little bit early I know so basically this video is kind of going to be like a fall like wish list and explaining some things to you that I'm excited to um, maybe purchase for fall or wear for the fall time and I know it's a little bit early but that's because I wanted to kind of give you a few like shopping tips and stuff and then like a heads up on I think um, what's going to be in style for fall and what you should definitely be on the lookout for when you're going back to school shopping and just you know fall shopping in general. So. First, I'm going to start off with like the immediate trends. Obviously, animal print. Um, this is, yes, a very like leopard, I guess, print, which normally I'm not that big into prints, but I actually really like this. It's like a big kind of loose shirt with like kind of like a, um, like a cuffed kind of quarter length sleeve, and then it has a nice little collar on it. And it's just very loose and flowy, and I actually, this is from Lockers, you can buy it on Lockers.com, but it really doesn't have much shape to it. It has a little bit of a tail, which I think is so cute. I love that because then you can wear it um, with like some leggings or like really tight jeans and it kind of just goes over your butt and stuff. Um, but yeah, I like this top a lot and I just have it paired with a little black lacy bandeau because it does have a pretty open neckline. Um, so yeah, first thing is of course prints and this is leopard and this is how I would do leopard. Um, obviously with prints you want balance, so I wouldn't do any other leopard accessories or anything. Um, just kind of have the shirt be the main focus. The next thing would be some like snake skin, which I love. This, of course, this is not real snake skin. This is faux. Um, it's fake. This is actually from Charming Charlie's, and it was like twenty dollars. It's really cute. It's a big envelope clutch, which was so in um, for the summertime, and I think is really going to transition well into the winter and the fall time because it is that snake skin print. I love all the colors in here. Like some really pretty browns and beiges and white and black, so it's very neutral, but it kind of adds a pop because of the different um, texture that it has, which I love. And I think texture is always a huge thing for the fall time. This actually um, has a strap, so you can wear it as like a bag, or you can tuck the strap in and take it off and use it as like a little envelope um, clutch. So I love this, and that is my little dose of snake print, and I think that's a really easy way to do snake print. Um, I also saw this pair of um, seven jeans. and they have like a snake pattern and I'm a little bit too scared to order them online. I think I need to go to a store and try them on just because they look a little bit crazy and a little bit daring. But if I do try them on and if I like them, I will definitely show them in a video um, because those are definitely something that have interests me and that would be a little bit more out of my comfort zone but would definitely be really cool and they're really beautiful. So the next thing I want to mention are a pair of boots that I got. Now this is kind of for the western like Aztec thing that's going on for the fall time. Um, I love them. They're by Steve Madden. They have like a thick chunky heel. They're like a nice kind of um, like just a normal brown color. They're not suede or anything but they are very very soft. They have all this like rope and buckle detailing. And then this is my favorite part. It has kind of, it almost looks like a sock or like a stocking. But it's just like this fabric that's printed um, all around the top of the boot. And then the inside, it's so comfortable. Hopefully you guys can see. But it has that really, really soft material that honestly, it's just so incredibly comfortable. So I think these are adorable. And I'm going to wear these with dresses and with like skinny jeans tucked in, even like leggings. I just, I love the color. And I love kind of the Southwestern like Aztec thing that's going on. I've seen a ton of this. Um, I was deciding between these and a pair of fringe boots. And I thought these were a little bit more unique, and I feel like I could probably find fringe boots that were less expensive. Um, the ones that I was looking at were by Sam Edelman, and they were kind of expensive. So I think that these definitely are a little bit more unique, and I felt like um, spending a little bit more money on these because they just had a little bit more going on, and I liked them a little bit better. But I'm definitely going to be looking um, for some fringe booties that are kind of inexpensive. So if you guys know of any, you guys can let me know. Um, the other thing I want to mention is actually a pair of boots that I still have that I um, I bought when I first started making videos, and then I rebought a pair. So this pair I've had for about a year and a half, um, and I think they're still in pretty good condition. They're a little beat up, but they're still good. These are my Colin Stewart riding boots, and this is in the color Brandywine. 
I love these. They're very, very classic, and they just go with everything. They're very, very sophisticated, I guess, and they're very just structured. I really like that they, um, they're nice. They hit nicely on my leg, and they also just look very... They look well made, but they're not incredibly expensive at all. You can buy them on victoriasecret.com. That's the only place that I've seen them available. And again, my color is Brandywine, which is like a really nice kind of deep brown that I think just looks so beautiful with like white and navy, especially in the fall time. So those are definitely an item that I bought um, two falls ago, I guess. Two falls ago, that sounds weird. But I bought a while ago that I'm going to be wearing again this fall because they really do last and they are um, definitely a staple item for me. Another thing I wanted to mention was a recent purchase. Now these are by Seven, and these are a little bit wild, but again, I got to try them on, so I actually knew what they looked like. Um, whereas the snake print ones, I haven't been able to find like in stores, so I haven't been able to try those on yet. But these are some black jeans that are by Seven for All Mankind that look like leather, they're like coated, and like something that like looks like leather, like they're supposed to look like leather. Um, I really, really love them. They're really comfortable and stretchy, and I think they're actually like really flattering and cute on. They are just really, really skinny cut. So as you can see, the ankle is really skinny, and I think I'm going to be doing a styling video with these once I um, it becomes like closer to fall time. Obviously, I'm not going to be wearing these right now because they are definitely more of a fall and winter piece, but I think they're beautiful, and of course, leather is always in for the fall and winter, and I love these. I like these better than a pair of like um, leather-looking leggings just because I feel like they have a bit more structure with like a pocket and everything. And I think that they kind of shape me better and they look a little bit nicer than just like a legging does. Now these were semi-expensive, but they are really nice quality. I love the way they look. And I definitely think that I'm going to be using them even if they kind of go out of style, which I don't think they will. I think leather is going to be something that's going to be here for a long time, especially for the fall and winter and especially like leather pants like that. Um, I also like that they are tapered and kind of more of like a skinny jean style because I feel like that's a little less like 70s bell bottom leather pants um, which obviously kind of goes out of style. Um, I also think that um, another thing that's on my wish list is actually a leather skirt. I have a faux leather skirt and these are fake. You know, it's not real leather obviously. It's like a treated um, treatment on the pants that makes it look like leather so just so that's out there. Um, I wanted to get a leather skirt, not a real one obviously, but one that looks like leather. I've seen um, Olivia Palermo had a really cute one on in a magazine I was reading. It was one that kind of was more like fitted up at the waist and then kind of went out in kind of a bell shape. Um, I have one that's from Forever 21, but it doesn't fit. It's a little, like, boxy. It doesn't have much shape to it, so I might actually, like, go get it tailored or something. But if you guys know of any, like, faux leather skirts that you've seen, please let me know, because that is one thing that is, like, on my wish list for the fall and winter. And I feel like now I've kind of become a better shopper. I'm kind of starting to, like, map out the things that I want and the things that are interesting me. Um, for this season so I don't like overspend and just buy a bunch of stuff. I'm kind of making a little list and then I'm kind of mixing and matching the pieces that I buy with things that I already own. The last thing that I wanted to mention was a heavier sweater and this is from Brandy Melville which I know is all the rage with the beauty gurus right now. This one is so cute. It's like black and then it has like kind of creamish and I almost want to say there's slightly pink um, stars all over it. Um, this is actually pretty thick and like a pretty nice quality, I would say. I will go ahead and do an outfit of the day with this because this is available on Lockers, so you can buy it for a discount on Lockers. So if you're interested, definitely check out Lockers to buy this because you can get um, a discount on it. And um, again, I'll do an outfit of the day with it, but it's kind of really hot outside, so I'm going to wait to do that. But this is one of the pieces that I chose on my buying trip and um, it came in, so I wanted to show that. And I think big sweaters, of course, always in for the fall and winter. And you can style those a lot of different ways. I think especially with this one, you could do, you could even do like cut off shorts and like tights, or you could do a skirt, or obviously you could do skinny jeans. You could just do a lot of different things. And I love kind of that it's a little bit graphic, but it's still like kind of a cozy like knit sweater. So I love kind of the mix of those two styles. Um, that's basically everything. 
fashion wise I wanted to mention a few nail polishes that I'm really excited to wear um, this is Houston we have a purple which is a beautiful kind of burgundy reddish purple and then another color that I'm going to be loving for um, the fall time is Aruba blue by Assi which is a gorgeous navy blue with shimmer I absolutely love it. So those are my picks that um, I'm going to be loving for the fall time. I know this is a little bit early, but I kind of think of it as like a wish list. And if you guys see me get fringe boots or a leather skirt, you guys will know that you guys were the first ones to hear about that. And maybe you'll be the person that suggested where I find those items. Um, so if you want to leave a comment of what is on your wish list for the fall, season you guys can tell me what you're loving or what you want to pick up or what you're maybe um, excited to rock for the fall so i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chatty video about some fashion purchases and i'll see you guys soon bye everyone